Hi, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to continue working on that spreadsheet I just started. And basically in this one we're documenting how we can really just buy one car and then you get a free car every three years um, over a 30 year period. It's really a pretty slick little worksheet. Now where we left off, uh, we already created this payment calculator which would show the monthly payments if we were just to buy and finance a car for 48 months at 6%. Then we considered an average annual rate of return of around 11% and created this future value calculator. Basically, you plug in $5,000 from the initial point, that's what you would have spent for a down payment, and then for four years you put in $399 a month because that's what you would have had to pay anyway if you were going to finance a car. At some point though, you'll stop making those monthly payments to yourself this time but your account balance is what you're going to use in order to finance future car purchases. Okay, So let's continue to work on this. Now to make things a little bit easier for me to look at, I'm going to go ahead and click on this cell over here. It's my cell A11. I'll go to View, Freeze Panes. This way I can scroll up and down and my uh, column labels, my header row is going to stay visible. Okay takes care of that. I'll also do another quick thing. I'll just go ahead and click on this cell over here. Go to my last balance cell. Do a shift click. And then I can just use my name box up here to give this a name. I'll just go ahead and call this uh, car data. Okay. And it just adds an extra layer of convenience. So if I happen to be anywhere on my document, I can simply go to my name box and go to my car data and it'll just select all that for me. Okay, so that's going pretty well. Um, the next thing I'd like to do is I want to use some conditional formatting to make things a little bit easier. I know I want to be making a car purchase about every three years. I would like Excel to go ahead and highlight rows every year. Okay, so I'm starting off in March and basically what I'd like to have happen is on every February I'd like the whole row to get highlighted. So that's what I want to do here. I'm going to go ahead and select all of my car data using the name box that I just created earlier. I'm going to head over to uh, Home, Conditional Formatting, and I'm going to create a new rule. I'm going to use a formula to determine which cells to format. And let's see, I'm going to kind of move this off to the side so I can see a couple of things here. So I'm going to create a formula. It's going to be equal to the month of the cell containing the date is equal to 2. Now I'm going to make a couple little modifications to this. My date, for instance D11 is my first date, but I don't want the 11 to be absolute, so I'm going to get rid of the dollar sign. So I'm going to do absolute column relative row. When you do the month of a cell containing the date, it'll give you a 1, 2, 3, 4 through 12 depending on the month. So I'm looking for the month that's equal to 2. Okay, And I'm going to go ahead and choose Format and for Fill Color for that cell I'll just make it yellow. Click OK and I'll click OK. And now we can see that, there we go, there's February 1st 2012 is now yellow, February 1st 2013 is yellow and so on. So that's pretty convenient. Now every year is, is yellow so it'll draw my eye to it. Now it's simply a matter of just going through and tacking on, or putting in actually, the information that's really important to us. Um, so this also stands out. Let me do this too. I did this in my other worksheet. I'm going to go ahead and select this range of cells, and I'm going to do Emergence Center. There we go. I'll just type a 1 in there. That's Oops, that's not a 1. That's a Q. There we go. So I'll do a 1 in there, and let's go ahead and center that and let's go ahead and make this much bigger. Let's just display that. Make a nice big font. Excellent. Okay. So things are going pretty good there and just to make this a little bit easier to look at I'm going to get rid of my window, my freeze panes. There we go. I'm going to unfreeze for a moment. And I'm going to go ahead and copy some formatting. So I'm just going to do a Format Painter. I'm going to select all these other cells going all the way down. 
There we go, so now I've got those taken care of. I'll put a number two in here, select these, auto fill down. So now I've got these big year numbers. Nope, need a little bit more room. All the way down to 30. Excellent. Okay, this is going to make things a lot easier to work with. Let me put that uh, freeze panes back in. Uh, view, freeze panes, there we go. So now I'm going to scroll on down. Okay, here's the end of year three. I've built up 22 grand and I'm going to take out some money for a car. I'm going to put in a negative 17,000. Okay, so negative 17,000 for that car. That certainly reduces my balance. And let's say on the next month, I was going to put in 399 for the next month as my regular investment. But let's say I'm going to sell whatever car I was driving before, and that's like five grand. So I'm going to put in fifty-four hundred, five grand for the car, car sale, four hundred. What I was going to put in anyway. That kind of builds things back up. So now I can just scroll on down to year six, end of year six, and this time I'm going to get an eighteen thousand dollar car. Okay, so I just put in negative $18,000. In the month after that, I'm going to put in some car sales. Notice I'm not making any regular monthly investments anymore. That, that part of the deal is done. But whenever I buy a new car, I buy a new car, I'm going to sell that previous car. The last time I bought a car, let's say it was 17 grand, it was three years ago. So the car's a few years older now. So let's say I can sell it for or, uh, like 12,000 or something like that. So I can just really just key in. 12 grand right there. And I'm going to keep doing this over and over again. So that's end of year six. I can move on down to the end of year nine. Okay. And you can decide how much you want to take out for a car. Now you can't go, you know, go hawk wild and say, wow, I've got 22 grand. I'll put that in, you know, buy a $22,000 car. Try to be a little bit conservative when you're buying that car. Um, I might go up uh, another grand. So buy an $18,000 car. My old car, maybe I sell it for thirteen five hundred or something like that. There we go. Keep on moving. Let's see, that was end of year. I already lost track here. That's end of year nine, so I need to go into year twelve. Okay. Let's buy a nineteen thousand dollar car. Okay, sell the old one for I don't know, it's fourteen thousand. And you keep up this process. And if you do this, you'll be able to pay cash for a car every three years. Simply redeposit the proceeds from the previous car sale, and there you go. All you had to do was make four years of payments into this account. Of course, the original amount for that down payment that you were going to do, and then four years of payments, just like you were going to buy a new car and finance it. You build up your account value, and then every three years, you make a withdrawal and pay for a car with cash. Keep doing that every three years, and for 30 years, you've got yourself a car. You can really look at this as you're buying one car, and then you're getting a free car every three years for life.